Testimony continues in the trial in the murder case of John Jason Mazzell, known to the world as Jam Master J. CBS 2's Jessica Moore was in federal court where prosecutors told the judge that they fear some witnesses may lie under oath. Federal prosecutors filed a late night notice to the court Monday, warning that some of its witnesses are now reluctant to testify and may plead the fifth or even lie under oath out of fear of retaliation. Day two in the murder trial of Jason Mizell, AKA Jam Master J, brought more supporters to the courthouse and more law enforcement testimony. Several retired NYPD detectives who worked the case testified that the surveillance cameras inside the recording studio where Mizell was murdered were not properly recorded the night he was shot and a thorough canvas of surrounding businesses turned up no video evidence. The hip hop legend's godson, Carl Jordan Jr. and his childhood friend, Ronald Washington, are accused of ambushing Mizell inside his Hollis Queens recording studio on the night of October 30th, 2002. Prosecutors say they devised a plan to kill Mizell after he cut them out of a drug trafficking deal. In a blow to the defense today, Judge LaShawn Darcy Hall allowed a photo lineup that one eyewitness used to identify Washington into evidence. Jordan and Washington's defense team say prosecutors have no evidence against their clients and are relying solely on, quote, aging memories. The judge agreed that if an eyewitness is uncooperative on the stand, prosecutors may have to treat them as a hostile witness, meaning they can question them more aggressively and even use their prior statements against them in front of the jury. The first eyewitness in this case is expected to be called this week. Outside Brooklyn Federal Court, Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News. Now a third suspect, Jay Bryant, will stand trial later this year. A DNA analyst testified today that his DNA was found on a blue hat left at the scene.